Can you imagine I'm going to gonna preach? Worship has come back to this. Wabuduo njoni katika jukua. Shikaraba na masanda. Shikaraba na masula baraba kashanda. Ho rabarara raba shanda. Stand up everybody there. Mameni kila moja wenu. Stand up everybody. Mameni kila moja wenu. Raise your hands to the God of heaven. Inweni mikono yenu kwa Mungu wa mbinguni. Shikaraba karaba. If you are not spirit filled begin to speak in tongues If you have never spoken in tongues open your mouth and begin to speak in that language Begin to speak Begin to speak Begin to speak Begin to speak in tongues Be filled with the Holy Ghost Inside the tent Be filled with the Holy Ghost Inside the sanctuary Be filled with the Holy Ghost Receive the Holy Ghost. This is the hour of foundation. The foundation of faith. Come on, somebody. Begin to speak in tongues. Worship us. Sing in tongues. Raise your voice. Begin to sing in tongues. Feel tongues in this house. In the name of Jesus. We are asking for a supernatural divine move of God. This morning, in the name of Jesus, God, I ask for the anointing that heals the sick without being laid handsome. I'm asking for an anointing, oh God, that breaks every yoke in the name of Jesus. Receive the Holy Ghost. Begin to speak in tongues in the name of Jesus. Take care of us. Sing it and somebody Raise your prayer to God Sing it and Come on Sit under the canopy Sit under the canopy Of his grace Begin to sing about a new song Yokes shall be broken Poverty shall be broken this season shall be broken. Begin to sing the Lord and your song. Sing. Oh, the Victoria Bazanta The Bible says, let the barren woman sing. Is there something missing in your life today? I felt a change of the order of the service. I felt the Holy Spirit tell me, shut your notes. It's not about your notes. It's about my mood. Let the barren woman open her mouth and begin to sing the Lord. It's your business barren. Sing. Is your family barren? Sing. Is everything falling apart? Sing. Sing the Lord a song. Come on, let's sing without instruments. Sing. Let those who do not have begin to sing. 
begin to sing. Raise your voice and sing. Let the sick sing. If you are sick, sick in your body, begin to sing. Gentlemen, diabetic, begin to sing. Begin to sing. Receive the Holy Ghost. Begin to sing the Lord a new song. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Let the weak say, I'm strong. Let the poor say, I'm rich. Begin to sing the Lord a song. Sing, sing the Lord a new song. If you are in pain, sing. I hear the Lord say, Sing, sing him a new song. about that business that is now dying. Sing the Lord a song. Sing in distress. Sing in pain. Sing. Sing unto the Lord. We are standing, we are standing in his presence. Holy crowd, 
In this sanctuary this day, is there anything too hard for God? Is there anything too hard for God? Sit down, we, let's enter into the prophetic. Father, we thank you for the prophetic. Pastor Tony, come over, come over. Come over here, come over. That's your microphone right behind you. And Tony, as you, Pastor Tony, as you come, I you, Tony, see somebody in your own family that is being afflicted by an infirmity. Vigari, an infirmity has touched somebody so close and so dear to your heart. And some of the signs I see is body swell, especially the legs. You know whom I'm talking to. I speak healing right now. As you stand on this altar, I send the word of the Lord in the name of Jesus. That the same healing power and the same gracing and the anointing that you're going to pass on in this house, it will start with you. You'll be a beneficiary of this altar this morning. There's also something about the vocal. This person is not able to talk properly. And I, like, write something there, but uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, let the God of surprise surprise you this day as you stand at the altar. And if somebody is being healed in Pastor Tony's family, there is a lady by the name Jerry. Jerry has Kuna. a mother. A sick mother on a bed. A sick mother on a bed. I see a swearing of a tummy. If you are that Jerry, you can come and stand. Wherever you are, wherever you are, just come. Father, we give you thanks. Father, we give you thanks. Wherever you are, that Jerry, I want you to come. Because today, we're going to send the word of 
the same God who healed our disease. Yule Mungu ambaye anaponya magonjwa yetu. You may sit, you may sit. Naweza mkakete. There are four men, four men who today will be healed of diabetic condition. Sugar's problems. Four of you. And one of you, you are having a condition that is a Affecting you. The frequencies of passing on of urine, so it cuts you and, and affects you in what you do. I send the word of the Lord today in Jesus' name. And I say that the healing power of the Almighty God come upon you. We give you praise. Father, we thank you. Pastor Sonny, just go ahead. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, when I was coming here and uh, we were just worshiping and we were talking about that song for Breakthrough, I really felt God starting to speak that um, today is going to be Breakthrough. We are breaking chains specifically over land in Jesus' name. I really felt that and I want you to understand that that anointing is here today in Jesus' name. There's somebody by the name of, I think it's Wangeshi. If your birthday is the 26th of August, 1977, there's a visitation coming to you in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. There's somebody in this section, there's somebody on dialysis. God is, God is bringing deliverance in Jesus' name. When, when you're worshiping, I felt that God was bringing a breakthrough in this section here. There's people in this area that you just need deliverance. There's a grace of deliverance that I was sensing. And if you are in that place and you're saying, Pastor, I've been in a place whereby I just feel that these, these, there are things that, that, um, that have been bound. I felt the Holy Spirit say, rise up. There's an anointing coming for deliverance in Jesus' name. If you're in this section right here, one of you, you're wearing a blue top, a blue top. One of you is wearing a blue top. There are some, just stand, those of you who just are in a place. The lady right there at the back with the blue, the, right there, you there, you stand up in Jesus' name. Yes, just stand up. You're wearing blue in Jesus' name. God, it is a visitation coming through. Father, we speak a breakthrough, even concerning, Father God, whatever it is that has caused there to be limitations in this section. We break that in Jesus. And come on, church, release your faith. We break every work of darkness in the name of Jesus. The person who's having dialysis issues. Is that there you are? Stand up in Jesus' name. The Holy Spirit told me to come to this section. Lift it. There it is. Receive in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You are healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Spirit of God, in the name of Jesus. Somebody you having a, a knee issue, there's a problem with your knee, your left knee, and you like red. I think you wear red shoes or something like that. You have that's you. Stand up in Jesus. Stand up quickly in Jesus' name. God is moved. Just lift your hands. God will just touch you where you are right now in the name of Jesus. Come on, church. Hallelujah. We are praying and declaring to that knee in Jesus' name. I command those knees to receive strength right now. The power of God just falls on those knees now in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Receive your healing now in Jesus' name. Come on now, just shake it. Just do the leg. Shake your leg. Move that knee. Move that knee. Come on, move it now. Move it now. Move it now in Jesus' name. Come on, that knee. Move that knee in Jesus' name. Just move the knee right now. We speak to every pain to leave in the name of Jesus. All pain leaves now. In Jesus' name. Who's that who's having a lower back issue? I think you're wearing a brace or something. That it, it really pains a lot. My God, God is bringing healing in this place in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. We bless your name. Stand up in Jesus' name just where you are. Father, we thank you. Just lift your hands and let him just touch you right now. Father, we thank you for the visitation that is coming to this house. Even now in Jesus' name. That God is touching your house in the name of of Jesus. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you. Come on, just appreciate God right now in the name of Jesus. I want to pray. You know, this, this year, um, uh, God, Mama was speaking to me about a season of moving in radical faith. Radical faith. Radical faith. And God's been stirring our hearts to say that for us as a church to come into what he has for us, we need to arise and be radical. The days of, of being comfortable, those days are behind you in Jesus' name. These are the days that you have to be radical in Jesus' name. You have to believe radically in Jesus' name. You have to be aggressive 
aggressive in your faith. Listen, the enemy is not playing games. He is out to steal, to kill, to destroy. But I come with a word from heaven in Jesus' name to say, let the people of faith arise in Jesus' name. Come on, right now, just receive the grace to believe. Receive the grace to believe. Receive the grace to believe. Listen, there are lands you need to possess. There are houses you need to possess. In fact, ma'am, I was kind of sensing we need to we need to we need to have a bank. We need to have a bank. We need to have a bank. You know, like we need to have a bank. Why not? In Jesus, there is enough wealth in the kingdom of God in the name of Jesus. And I want to pray and declare that over the church of Jesus Christ, we are causing an economic shift. Oh my, am I in the right house today? I speak an economic shift in the name of Jesus. I just sense there's a grace in this house, but I sense a grace to bring an economic shift in Jesus' mighty name. You have to understand when there was a plague in Egypt, God called, called, called his children into the land of Goshen and there was a distinction. I don't know about you, but I pray let a distinction come upon somebody in Jesus' name. Are you, are you receiving this? Amen. I'm, 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 I'm serving you prophetic words right now. May the grace of distinction come upon you in Jesus' name. Come and receive it right now. The grace of distinction in Jesus' name. Somebody in this section, you have a heart issue. Who's that? your heart something about your heart right now in the name of Jesus I pray that may you be healed in Jesus name right now thank you lift your hand if you if you either it's either a physical issue or you've gone through a really uh, you've been heartbroken something about being heartbroken and I'm drawn to you lady in the blue I don't know why but if you're in that place and you're, you're going through something like that I pray lift your hand in Jesus name you know you are good receivers Jesus went to his hometown. The Bible says he didn't do many miracles because of the lack of faith. This is a house of faith. And please, I know our mother has taught us your expectation will cause the grace to flow. If you pull on the grace, the grace will flow. If you release your faith, it will flow in Jesus. Then, Father, we thank you for the grace for radical faith falling afresh upon us in the name of Jesus. That person who's been struggling for for for. for a conception. We want to speak right now. May the you grace of being the, 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 that song that your mom was saying to declare a barrenness. We want to declare right now. Barrenness is broken in Jesus' name. Come on, barrenness is broken in the name of Jesus. We declare barrenness is broken in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. Interpreter, I just see God visiting you. The visitation coming into your house in Jesus' name. Listen to me. I believe that God will give you a significant testimony in the area of land within the next six months in Jesus' name. There is a turnaround coming to you in the name of Jesus. We bless you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, just receive it now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Father, we just pray. Come on, right now, let's just receive that radical faith. Okay, in the name, name of future. Jesus, radical. Just, just stretch your hand and say, Father, I receive that radical faith. Come on, just say, I receive that radical faith. Those of you watching right now, we pray for you. May you receive your radical faith in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's somebody with, 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 with somebody watching, um, if that's the camera, somebody watching, you have some um, issue with your with your um, uh, tummy. I think it could be fibroid or something, but it's <inaudible> something about that, that, that God wants to release healing to you in the name <inaudible> of Jesus. We speak to those things to disappear in the name of Jesus. Okay, Father, we thank you there is healing in this house and we receive that healing in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name and we thank you. You know, mom, when I came here and you're talking about foundations, I said, amen, I have come to, to secure my own spiritual foundations. <laughs> so I am home, I am a son of this ministry. Uh, I, am, I am representing Kenya out there, hallelujah. Uh, keep us in your prayers, we are, we are honored. Mom, thank you so much for raising us in the faith. We are where we are by the grace of God. Thank you for believing in me and, and praying for, for me and helping me and, you know, picking us up. And uh, we're just here to uh, say, look what the Lord has done, you know. So we honor you so greatly. Uh, your legacy is living on and God is strengthening your legacy. Uh, we are... Uh, we, we, we covet your prayers. Um, God is doing something in Europe, and we know that he's doing some, some amazing things. So, Mom, we are, we are looking forward to you coming back, this corona issue. <laughs> 
uh, we want to thank God for the miracles of God. You know what, what happened when I was when I was just thinking about the corona, I really felt, you know, one of the things that happened with corona is that a lot of fear came over, over the people. And we want to declare, and then God started speaking to me in the same, same way that that fear came. God started speaking to me that this radical faith that is coming to the body of Christ. A radical faith that is coming to the body of Christ. And I believe that this house was a house of faith. And I pray that the foundation of that radical faith shall live on in Jesus' mighty name. And so, Father, we thank you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Wow. You may have your seats. You may have your seats. We are almost, yeah. I don't know. There's somebody's scheduled for a certain surgery which has been postponed over and again especially because of the coronavirus. This has something to do with the stomach. I don't know what they want to do in there. But how about if God does it? And surprise. Father, I thank you. And I give you praise. You know, yesterday, when, when we were in the prayer tent, I immediately started praying. I saw somebody, either they had a, a, had a broken arm. And it started, the bone is not growing exactly how it ought to grow. It, it, it's kind of like, it doesn't quite hurt, but it's not growing inside the socket as it ought. Is that person in here today? A broken arm. And your arm has started growing not on the right side, even if you're in the tent. This is very important. Because I want to speak the word over that bone. If I don't see you, I'm good. It's you. Which hand is that? Is it a left hand? It's okay, but I'm looking for somebody with on the right hand. But it's okay, God is going to heal you right now. Can you come over and touch it? Come over here. But the person I'm talking about. Come over here, honey. Come, come, come. We're not supposed to touch, but I'll touch her. Father, we thank you. Father, we praise you. Somebody is supposed to take some documents for a certain very competitive post on Wednesday. I don't want to say what it is, but you know because you are supposed to submit those documents, but you know very well that there is uh, an issue of... Uh, what, what, what did I call you for? Mm. Both of you, oh, it's your son. The bone is growing from here, like starting to. Ah. Oh, it is then. How about if these people would say, command it to grow? Yeah? Raise your hands. Over. What's your son's name? Huh? Victor. That's a dangerous name because he's, always, he's victorious already, isn't he? Say, Victor, we command your bone right now to grow in Jesus' name. Victor, it is done. Victor, um, yeah. And yeah. 
I, I, I knew it, but I also, I saw something about here. Yeah? Raise your hand. No enemy your hands to this broken bone that we command this bone. We command this bone. Hear the word of the Lord. Return back to position. In the name of Jesus. We speak the virtue of God. Every swelling. Every swelling. Every discomfort that moves to her back. I speak a healing right now. In the name of Jesus. I speak to this hip right now. In the name of Jesus. Be healed Ponyua. in Jesus' name. Father, we give you thanks. Yeah. Is this a, was it a surgery? What were they removing? Hmm? You're born with a certain color. Come on, let's reverse conditions from birth. Stand right here, honey. To reverse. Hali hi, amboi kuzaliwa. She was born Alizaliwa. like that. Akiwa hivo. So they've done some surgeries to try Koibu. and fix Kwa it. But Jesus, Jesus the fixer, he, he changed the kurejesha. order of the service Alibali so somebody ibana. can go home healed. I had a nice message God said, no, Nilikuwa that's you. Go and get yourself kasema. blessed at home. Endo na hiyo Let me do what I know how to do. Let me pick up my people from ashes. Let my people sing me a song in the hour of pain and in distress. Let them sing because of the state of barrenness. We speak to the condition of your bones in the name of Jesus. If there was any Abnormality. Kama kuna hali yote I stretch forth every finger in the name of Jesus. Jina la Yesu. Honey, I want you to keep those. I want you to, I can tell there is an issue there. Neither Put your hand on my hand. Mkono wako, juu mkono wake and mkono ever mkono since, I want you to be keeping this hand straight like this. Okay? Father, Father, on my hand, Lord. I ask the anointing of the Holy Spirit to move and make a whole in the name of Jesus. I return every bone back to position in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I want you to start using that hand properly. Fold the fingers for me. Tight. Fold them and move them again. Okay. Fold them again. You had an issue of this one holding it. I want you to watch this here. Yeah? I noticed that Nataka she had a muangalia. problem of folding this finger. Nilijua alikuwa na shida kukunja hiki kidole. And that's why. Ndio kwa ajili. I love this Jesus. Nampenda huyu Yesu. Because he does what no man can do. Anafanya kile ambacho hakuna mtu anaweza. Hold it again at once. Nataka tena uikunje. Straighten it again. Na uifungue. Do it again very fast. Fanya tena kwa haraka. The miracle is done in Jesus. Did I call you for something? Did I call you for something? Okay. Stretch your hands here. Stretch. Is it also your hand? Huh? Oh, you are the injury. Okay. Stays in bed. This is Jerry's. The mother stays in the bed. And God told me, Jerry's mother will be healed. Any other time when you are called by name, or 
or when a man of God identifies your issue ama wakati mtumishi wa Bwana anatambua hali ya family i know you are people of faith exercise your faith watu by wa, moving so fast watu wa faith mnajua nyinyi watu i mean imani, move so fast at the old imani yenu na ukuje haraka katika madhabahu today i was going to speak about what an altar is all about leo nilikuwa nataka kunena kuhusu madhabahu ya husu nini but i will speak lakini tanena I saw the spirit of death I'm going to rebuke the spirit of death. Niliona roho ya mauti nitaikemea ile roho. Because I want her to get out of that bed by the time you go home. Kwa jina nataka atoe kitandani pale utakapokuwa I want her literally to be healed. Nataka haswa akuwa ameponywa kabisa. Because by the stripes kwa of jili, Jesus. Kwa mapigo yake Yesu. How many know sometimes God can change and a service an order of a service because of one person wangapi wanajua mungu anaweza kubadilisha mpangilio wa ibadi kwa ajili tu ya mtu mmoja mtu yule ambaye uko na imani yenye fujo anaweza kufanya kila kitu kisimame remember jesus was teaching and they came with a man kumbuka yesu siku moja alikuwa anafunza wakaja na mtu And the radical faith that Tony is talking about the Tony is talking about they started breaking the house and putting the man on the mattress. Even if Jesus didn't want to heal the man. Hata kama Yesu hakuwa anataka kumponya ule mtu. He had to because already the man had had the four men actually not the man. Lazima angefanya hilo. I'm sure the man told Jesus it's not me it's this boy here. Yeah. Ya kwamba huyo mtu alisema sio mimi Yesu ni hawa vijana. I wish I'll have those kind of people who will have this radical faith. Natamani nitakuwa na watu kama wao. If you to be in the house of faith you at if faith nyumba ya imani na hauna. At faith evangelistic ministry. Refuse to be in the house called faith and you don't have faith. Uwe katika huduma hii na hauna imani. Pastor Tony as you have said. Huduma Tony kama vile umesema. Faith in God is going to become so radical. Imani kwake Bwana itakuwa yenye fujo. And that's what I want to teach somebody who was taking some documents on Wednesday. First of all she doesn't even stand a chance for that post. Na yeye nilikuwa nataka kunena kwa ajili ya mtu ambaye anapeleka zile stack bag. Mata haitimu lakini imani ambayo inasongesha milima. Let's see a prayer we finish. You know what? Tatufanye ombi tumalize unajua nini? How many of you are preparing themselves to start move enjoying the presence of God in this house? Wangapi wanajiandaa kuanza kufurahia uwepo wa Bwana katika nyumba hii? Pastor Tony, we are back to signs, miracles and wonders. Huduma Tony tumerejea Because when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of God will raise up a stand. Tainua viwango. I know what faith this faith can do. Najua nini imani inaweza ikafanya. I'm talking about faith some of my coworkers would not have money to go home. Na nena kuhusu imani baadhi ya watu na kazi wangu hawakupata pesa. And they will be walking like this and they will find a note. Na wangekuwa 1000 or 500 dropped on the road. Wangetembea hivi na wapate pesa barabarani kama 1500. The same God. Yule yule Mungu. Of the gold dust. Ya kwamba ile mavumbi ya dhahabu. The same God of the fragments of wine. Yule Bwana wa harufu ya dhahabu. The same God when you entered it was perfumed. He has not gone on safari. He's the same yesterday today. And forever. Yule yule jana leo na hata milele. Oh charity wangoi by name to rise up from the bed. Muiteni charity wangoi ainuke hivi sasa kutokana kutoa kitandani. Command every bone speak to the stomach. Kila mfupa amurisha nene. Any cancerous spirit. Kila roho ya ya spirit of death. Kila roho ya mauti. Ya maisha yake. We command it right now. Na yamurisha hivi sasa. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For silver and gold have we now. Atuna dhahabu ala fina. But such as we have. We give it unto charity. In the name of Jesus Christ. To rise up. Ainuke. And walk. Na atembe. I rebuke the spirit of death in the house. Nina kemea roho ya mauti kwa ile nyumba katika jina la Yesu. I speak the wholeness. Nina nena kuwa mzima. I speak grace. Nina nena neema. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Father we thank you. Bwana tuakushukuru. Meet every need here. Kutana kila hitaji hapa. Meet every need. Kutana kila hitaji. Meet every need. Kutana kila hitaji. Meet every need. Kutana kila hitaji. 
I don't want to do this but I feel compelled to do it. Si kwanta kufanya hii lakini nasikia nikihimizwa kufanya. There's such a divine wave right now. Kuko na utembee. Of every man with any condition that affects them. The manhood they are betting kuna uwepo ambao unatembea unaguza kila mwanaume ambao uko na shida usehemu ya mume wake na hata hali ya ugonjwa wa sukari na hata hali ya kiza kila mwanaume ambao uko na hali yoyote kila mwanaume yote ambao uko na hali yoyote ile pastor tony come and speak a word over every man mchungaji tony njoo ukapata kunena neno kwa kila mwanaume haleluya shikata na bazana I want, to, I want to encourage every man to come. I have been I have been there what mommy is saying. So I'm just going to open it up right now. I remember you came and I was dealing with sugar issues. And, I, and yes, my manhood got affected and that's what the Holy Spirit is asking you to call it. Now the reason why I'm going to stand here and say this is because there's a lot of men suffering. And God says speaking Some to me. Some people are this. coming from let them come inside from the tent. Let them come. Um, and God started speaking to me about 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 this issue. That was there. My uh, sugar levels were up uh, and it affected my manhood. It is a fact. And man, you are dying, you are you are you need to rise up and be free. And I'm going to pray. I understand the Lord told me. Mm. I thought I thought I should ask them to stand. But the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. ladies you may move, just go back. All ladies just go back. All those men stand up at the altar. The anointing is here. All right of you go back. No, we just have go. Prayed. Go. go. We have prayed. What want this man to what come? We want to help him. We prayed for every arm to be restored. Man every man with those conditions come. Come, here, come, here, come, here, come here. If you are suffering from erectile dysfunction, I want you to come here. Oh, right? the ladies, please move you. If, your, if your, your sex drive is not good, come here in Jesus' name. Come here, come here, come here, come here quickly. There's grace, there's grace, there's grace, there's grace. There's grace. There's grace. Come here. We're going to pray for you in Jesus' name. Pastor Sonny, I sense God mm. is doing this because mm. sometimes mm. as much as we try to hide issues, sometimes we, we also mm. hide from being healed and Napa being restored. But I believe this altar is unique. We'll never have another one like this because we will hear testimonies beyond imagination. I want every man who is whole in the house to stand up because you're going to raise your hand towards this people. Every man stand up because you're going to raise your hand to el over every man standing here. I know some women are coming here because of their husbands and of them because of their sons. Pastor Tony, let me tell you something. I struggled to obey God to do this altar call. But I had the Lord say, and say, choose and I choose to obey. And because I choose to obey, they have to be healed. They have to be healed. You know, mom, uh, it's, it's all those things that um, uh, God was dealing with me. Uh, because I, uh, I went through it. And um, it's difficult. So, um, I came to realize... It's, it's okay, Pastor Tony, take a breath. We're dealing with issues at this stage. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, so what happened is, I remember I, I was struggling with it. And uh, the reality of the matter, I have came to realize, your place of pain becomes your place of ministry. God uses what you went through to bring ministry. So, as we, as we know, there's no coincidence, Mom, God giving you that word, me being seated there and then talking about my own story. It means... Yes. That was your story. That was my story. But no God. No wonder you couldn't go back to London. <laughs> I 
until every one of these men Jesus. receive a miracle yes, Lord. from God. And those of you who are watching, they're, 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 I sense that there are people who are watching, which camera it is, but get ready in Jesus' name. Mom, the, the situation, some of you, it, it's affected your marriage. You know what I'm talking about. It's affected your marriage. Some of you, it, it's even gone to the point whereby it, it God, God loves you. God loves you so much. So we're going to pray. You're just going to lift up your hands. And it's just by faith you will receive in Jesus' name. Just start praying in the Holy Spirit right now. Father, we pray. Just pray in the Spirit right now. Lift your hands. This grace is just going to fall right now in the name of Jesus. Look at all this man. My God, the altar is full. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray right now for every man that is here. Every man that is watching. I'm praying for the, hus uh, the wives who are standing on behalf of their husbands. Right now, first of all, I take authority over the spirit of, of, of infertility. I take authority right now in the name of Jesus over diabetes. I take authority right now in the name of Jesus uh, over all erectile dysfunction. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I bind that in Jesus' name. Uh, some of you, the spirit of shame has come upon you. I take authority over the spirit of shame. I bind that and I break that in the name of Jesus. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, pray, pray strong. Pray strong. Chains are breaking right now in the name of Jesus. So those of you watching right now in Jesus' name, I pray concerning your, your manhood right now. I speak right now. Listen, may the Lord strengthen you right now in the name of Jesus. So receive strength right now. Receive strength right now. Receive strength right now. Receive healing right now. Receive in the name of Jesus. So we break the shame. We break the shame. We break the shame. We declare, man, you are free. Man, you are free. Man, you are free right now in Jesus' name. Uh, all weakness leaves you right now. I speak to your manhood right now. I declare you are healed in Jesus' name. Uh, receive your healing now. Receive it now. You are healed in Jesus' name. Uh, I declare to you in Jesus' name uh, where you are weak. Uh, I want every man to say, where I have been weak, I am strong. Come on, say it. Where I have been weak. Every man say this, where I have been weak. The Lord is strengthening me. Come and say it after me. The Lord is strengthening me. The Lord is strengthening my manhood. In the name of Jesus. All erectile dysfunction. Come and say it. All erectile dysfunction. It breaks off in Jesus' name. All shame lives from my life. In the name of Jesus. And I receive right now. Come on, just right now. Just receive it. I sense it. I sense it right now. There it is. Come on, it's falling right now. Just receive it. I receive it in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that from today there is a testimony. Listen, you are going to write to mom. You are going to say that from this Sunday. What Sunday is this? It's the, uh, the 14th. It was, at, it was at 11.50 in the morning in Jesus' name. Right now, I start to speak strength to your manhood right now. I, say, I start to speak strength to your manhood in Jesus' name. I said I speak strength to your manhood in Jesus' name. The diabetes is gone in Jesus' Some of you, it's cholesterol issues. I pray for you right now. Okay, so let me just give you some solutions. Number one, God says that you need to, there's some things you need to change. Number one, you need to watch your diet. You need to sort out your diet. That's an area. Cholesterol is too high. You need to get that one sorted out. Some of you, you have not, you have not, you're not active enough. You need, to, you need to do a bit of exercise. You need to get that going as well in Jesus' name. Amen. There's some natural things and there's some spiritual things. We've just sorted the, the, the spiritual. Now may God also give you wisdom in the natural in Jesus' name. Come put your hands together for all of this, man. Amen. Amen. God bless you. You may go back to your seats. Amen. You are walking back healed. Oh, yes. You are walking back. Oh, hallelujah. With a new body. In the name of Jesus. Wow, we've come to the end of the service. So it is okay if God will just be doing this. Like, you know, you think you're going to pray it. Pastor Anna, I'm getting concerned. I did my notes. When God gave me the prophetic word, I have not finished. It seems like I can't even preach it, but it's okay. It's okay for, for the Holy Spirit to preach because he, he knows his people.